Hello kids, welcome to my class. Today, we will be learning about how our voice works. My name is Mr. Windpipe, and today I will be talking to you about the parts of our bodies that help us talk and how they do it. The first muscle we will talk about is the diaphragm. It is a big muscle that's underneath your lungs. It helps the lungs during breathing. Look at the arrows. When the diaphragm goes down, the lungs fill up with air. When the diaphragm goes up, the air in the lungs is pushed out. Now let's talk about our lungs. They look small, but they can take a lot of air in. Our lungs are used for breathing. Look at the arrows. When air goes in, the lungs get bigger, like a balloon. When the air is pushed out of the lungs, the lungs get smaller and they shrink. Next is the windpipe. Hey, that's like my name. Look at the arrows. When the lungs get bigger and air goes in, it travels down the windpipe. When the lungs shrink and air goes out, the air travels up the windpipe. Ooh, here is my favorite part, the voice box. It's located on top of your windpipe. The voice box job is to make our voice. Inside the voice box, there are Two small bands, like rubber bands. We call them vocal cords. They vibrate really, really fast. And when they do, they make our voice. But before our voice is completed, we need the help of our mouth and our nose. When we breathe, air goes in through our nose and out through our mouth. Then, we make different shapes with our tongue, our lips, and our teeth. And we get different noises and letter sounds. All of this happens with the help of our diaphragm, our lungs, our windpipe, of course, our voice box, which is my favorite, and the shapes of our mouth and nose. Wow, wasn't this interesting? Are there any questions? Okay, I had a great time. I'll see you later.